with the crew worldwide. Don't call you to Twitter. Real hardcore fans, boxing ass niggas, consistency cops, police the views. We'll pull up receipts for any debates you choose. Shout out to Clan Archie for the dope production. Ring gang stay with the best discussions. Yeah. Ring gang radio. Think of the uh, unexpected things. Did anyone expect that shit to pop off at the uh, end of the uh, McGregor fight? Uh, fuck no. <laughs> Hell no. I mean, we can segue into that. <laughs> yeah, go talk about yeah, that. Like that, that, be wild. like that UFC card, like uh, on paper, I wasn't really into it. I mean, I watch UFC, but the, what, the lineup itself wasn't that great to me. And at least in comparison to the, the zone card, which we'll, I'll get, we'll get into a little later. So I was like, you know what? Let me, because I, cause I think that the zone cut would finish before the main event started. So I turned to that, and, then the, and the fight was just a, was an ass whooping. Khabib whooped that ass, like, kind of the whole time. He looked yeah, scared in that fucking... Like, he was too busy living his best life, getting coked up, doing all types of wild shit. He wasn't training, man. And, and, that, uh, and, that, and that boy Khabib lives that shit. Yeah, Re- yeah. Wrestled bears as a child. <laughs> you know, I, nope. saw the, I saw that video. I was like, I thought they were bullshitting, but no, that motherfucker was out there at nine years old wrestling a motherfucking bear. There's no way he was losing. There was yeah. no way. The yeah, way he, took, he took Connor to the ground with ease, just str- choking him out, strangling him, beating him down. It was it was vicious. And, and he was talking to him, too. So, okay, he's like, okay, you want to talk now? And, he, and, he, and that's it. Uh, yeah, I mean, he was talking to that nigga too. I was like, oh shit, you know, could be that was one up. right hand that he had <laughs> dropped it with. Yeah, oh, and yeah. you know, it's supposed to be the box. That shit was hard. <laughs> and the, then when they was when they was going stand up, I think it was round two. They was going just going stand up. And then Khabib was just throwing, I'm like, Khabib about to get knocked out. And he was knocking him out. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I mean, Khabib was hitting him with some, with some absolute roundhouse overhand yeah, right. Yeah, like, was just strong. All the way back. I was like, God damn, like, wait, uh, you can see that telegraph shit? Like, you're over here just like, I mean, it seemed like all I kind of want to do was just try to land that stupid left hand, which I think is an overblown left hand. You it know? is, and- you see how low he has his left hand. You right. see how he kind of feels out with his right. It's not even a real jab. Like, I don't know what he was thinking. I'm glad Khabib just caught on to that shit and was like, what the fuck? And just stepped in with a right hand and just knocked his ass down and just started fading this nigga up, dog. Yeah, and then and then the, the, the finish we put on that damn, it was a neck crank. So I was like, oh shit, this motherfucker is, uh, he's, he's gonna, he's, uh, if Connor doesn't tap, this motherfucker's neck is gonna get broke. Yeah, and he, and and, and, and that's funny too because Connor was hesitating too because he had his face like this. I was like, "Can I try?" Yeah, it? He had it over his chin, over his neck, like he was just fucking his shit up. He was trying to kill him. Yeah, because yeah, because yeah, Khabib was ready to break that neck. Like if he doesn't tap, Khabib was gonna break his neck. I was like, okay, and then finally he started tapping, and even then the ref had to really pull him away because he went. Then of course, you know, Khabib started wilding out, spit at that, <laughs> give him the finger, and then I think it went total ape shit. You know, <laughs> you know they started talking that, talking that shit to Connor's team, and then he uh, when they talk shit back, that nigga jumped the fence. He was like, really? <laughs> yeah, he was like, and, and he started thumping. I was like, oh, I was like, I was like, oh shit, like the nigga that's like UFC is lit right now. I'm over I'm not, it, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I was I was kind of falling asleep during this event. The whole event it was kind of it was kind of slow, but it was good fights. It was good fights. But I was falling asleep. But then when at the end I'm like, oh damn, you got choked out. And then when I see this nigga jump the cage, yeah. I just jump straight up. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yo, this shit is really happening. Right. And, 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 and there was no cops. Like as they were trying to deal with that shit. Like motherfuckers from um, Khabib team got in the ring and started, you know, and started thumping with Connor. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think he just like, been choked oh, out and beat up for, for four rounds. <laughs> they just jumped in the ring and started <laughs> beating his ass again. <laughs> Baited him up, man. And I was like, I was like, this is what I'm talking. About. I was like, this is what UFC needs. Like, I mean, they might as well, they, they might as well embrace their inner carny nature, man. Like, they're they're carnies, all of them. You know. It's Hell like, yeah. They need, they need to embrace that shit, man. You know, they, they didn't have niggas one up. And, like, Khabib, though, was seriously like this, you know. 
kind of be doing all that racial trolling and shit like that. You can't be like you can't be. First of all, you can't be trolling no damn Muslim. Now you can't do that. Oh, especially, especially about their religion. Especially a Muslim from the Caucasus Mountains. Those are those, I mean, those aren't your average white folk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, they yeah. some other shit. They about that life. <laughs> yeah, they about that life. And Connor was Connor was you know faking the fuck. You know, oh yeah, he, I'm Irish. Yeah, faulted his family too. Yeah, talked about <laughs> talked about his father. All types of shit, man. You kept on talking. And threw, threw, threw a dolly through their tour bus, injuring his family. Yeah, exactly. And he had to be, and the pretty sure he was probably coked up too to do that shit. Like, and meanwhile, Khabib, all by his, all by his lonely, went in there and just fuck with everybody in that damn camp after that fight. After that, you know, we should have expected this type of fuckery, though. No, when you, when y'all get no. all happened. the events, it's never happened. It never happened, but. None of that other shit ever happened too. Like no one ever re- in the UFC really just wild out on somebody on a bus, you know, fucking up people's family members and shit. And... Yeah, but people fought at the weigh-in, press conferences. It's gotten bad, but it hasn't gotten <laughs> Dolly bad. <laughs> yeah. Throwing a, a Dolly through a window type. <laughs> Boxing level fucking like UFC did like the achievement unlocked like it's a boom trophy unlocked. Yeah, I mean, that, I mean that type of fucker you see, you know, well let's just say if you, I mean, if you're watching a fucking Darrell fight or whatever, I mean that was the, that was the fucker last year where you know Darrell's uncle, you know, slugged you know slugged dude Uskateki, you know that's the type of fucker that you expect in boxing. Yeah, that was fucking. Yeah. Ooh, you know, one- has had a had a fuckery like that too, where he was fighting the trainer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, Lope, yeah, Lopez, yeah, Walmart. Walmart, yeah, and, and, and worse though, the trainer got the best of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How the trainer take your punches and just hit you, start beating your ass? Yo, I could not believe that tra- that trainer hit him with a fucking checkup. I was like, that's textbook right there, you know. You see, you see someone advancing like that with their hands down, you know, get that checkup going, man. And I was like, that was, I was like, I was like, damn, Wama, that's not a good look. And you damn near getting knocked down by that punch and then taking the, taking the barrage like that by a trainer who was, who's, who's never a pro fighter, man. <laughs> it crazy. It's like McGregor and them just took it to a new level. Like, the only thing you can only compare that shit to another riot in boxing because UFC doesn't have that shit so they have their first now they they now had a Bo Galata their fucking um yep. Kendall Holt Ricardo Torres yep they got all they they got they fuckery fight now yeah and then and then you know too like I'm pretty sure now Dana's gonna be like you know or going forward they're, they're gonna have to have, have like a full police force in there just in case niggas really got beef like that yeah because uh <laughs> Yeah, because they they can't uh, they can't have anything like that happening again. And the funny thing is, K- K- uh, Khabib was not really apologetic about it too. He was like, "Well, what are you gonna do? What about Conor? Conor was doing all this shit. He was doing the same this shit, that shit. You know, saying whatever he liked. Well, no consequence. See that favoritism. Yeah, exactly. And then and they're withholding that motherfucker's purse too. He was he, he was supposed to make two million for that fight. They're withholding it. You know, and that's yeah, also some bullshit. But they didn't. They're not withholding Conor's purse though. Ah, that's, that's trash. Yeah. That thing wasn't involved. Yeah, it's dirty. You know, and, and Connor, and it wasn't like Connor's innocent. Like, he threw a punch on Khabib's, uh, well, there's people on Khabib's team, too. So. I mean, them like, the niggas were about to stomp him out. I would have threw a punch, too. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, he had to. Nigga just got choked got out, and now he's getting them. beat on. <laughs> like, what you gonna do? Just I sit there? Speak, niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, it was, it was, it, you know, like I said, I mean, going for it, man. I'm pretty sure for UFC, it's probably, it gave it a boost in the arm because UFC has lost a lot of its star power for various reasons. Uh, nope. Some retired, they needed this. some aged, some were drug cheats, you know, some just some simply, got bodied. Yeah, pretty much, you know, so, yeah, so. I mean, UFC needed this, and most likely, you know, Dana's gonna be like, you know, publicly, oh yes, we don't condone this. But that motherfucker's laughing all the way to the bank, especially when they hold the next pay per view, the next couple pay per views, man. They're gonna be sold out because people are gonna be like, where's the fuckery? That's why I'm buying this shit for. Yeah. 
They, they see they might have gotten spoiled because with boxing we see that shit all the time. Like mm-hmm. I give you, we, we could give you stories of stories. So in boxing you would see that shit maybe something crazy like that maybe four times a year, right? On average, maybe give or take, you know less. With UFC, it's like y'all not only just got it one time, but it was one time at like the highest level, like on some damn Detroit Pistons. Um, what was that? Pacers. Yeah, P- Pistons. Uh, Pistons. Uh, Pistons. Pacers, man. Yeah, 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 like Ben Wallace shit. Yeah, like that. That's like ultra level fuckery, like Hall of Fame fuckery. Yeah, and I, I, I caught, I caught, I caught that game live too. Yeah, and, wow. and, oh man, man. <laughs> I, I had nothing to do that Friday night. I turned to the Lucky game. Lucky as hell. Oh, that shit popped off. <laughs> I would have loved to see that shit live. Oh man, I couldn't believe that. Like, I couldn't believe that. <laughs> and then all them clips the next day. You know, like I was they up. Flooded like, the damn <laughs> ESPN with that shit. Yo, know, I remember I was in my barber shop, like too, and with, oh my god. The reenactment of that shit was probably one of the most classic conversations I ever had in a barbershop. You know, Maybe was just analyzing every little thing, you know, and reenacting that shit. And, re- and that shit was being played on the big TV in the shop, man. It was. It, Damn. It was, it was insane. Uh, that Johnny Cage shadow punch that um Jermaine O'Neal threw on that fan. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga slid on one leg. Kill that shit. Kill that shit like a guitar solo, man. <laughs> that nigga hit the controller. It was like <laughs> X square triangle, <laughs> four four, <laughs> R one. <laughs> exactly that fucking uh, was it Paul Phoenix punch? <laughs> <laughs> nigga hit, the, hit his ass with a Tekken punch. 